I wish when you went to a doctor there was just a handout going, here's all your therapy options, Here, here's all the different things that you could try. But in my particular experience, I've not seen that. There's no book showing you what all the options are. Maybe there should be. Uh, mental health therapy, again, I just thought, like most people I assume, that's traditional mental health therapy, and that's all there is. You go and you, you talk about your problems for the week, or your accident, or your illness, and that's what therapy is. Little did I know, throughout my journey, I've learned there are all kinds of mental health therapy. We've all probably heard of traditional mental health therapy, so I'm just gonna breeze right over that. Uh, next comes cognitive behavioral therapy, and that is teaching you how to think differently. Instead of the physical therapy teaching you how to move differently, cognitive behavioral therapy tells you how to think differently. Maybe you're thinking really negatively and you don't even realize it. Maybe you're using a lot of negative words or you're catastrophizing, saying I always miss out on fun events with my friends and I never get to go and you don't realize that these messages are affecting your brain and your mood and that the actual words coming out of your mouth, if you change them, can actually reroute neural pathways in your brain to, to alter and elevate your mood. And studies have shown that through MRI machines. And it's really exciting and empowering to think that what we say, we have control to change our mood. I just thought that was completely taking back control of my pain. Cognitive processing therapy, that's my personal favorite. It's a form of cognitive behavioral therapy, but you address specific things that happened in your life. Say you had an accident, that would be your trauma. And they try to go before that even and try to figure out, well, why did you react to the trauma the way that you did? And how is that reacting still affecting your life right now? So that has been, for me personally, the most growth is cognitive processing therapy. It's very difficult again. In the beginning, my personal uh, practitioner said he had a high dropout rate in the beginning because they want you to write out your trauma and people just, that's very difficult and I have no judgment whatsoever. It's so hard, but if you get past that part, cognitive processing therapy is very, very beneficial. Um, couples and family counseling. I think the foundation, the USP Foundation talks about that a lot, that uh, illness or injury does not just affect a single person, it affects everyone. Everyone in your life, your partner, your family, your friends, you have changed. And so your relationship with each of them is going to change. And so consider couples and family counseling for them, uh, the caregivers. You know, they're going through this just as much as you are going through support groups in person and online. I can't say enough again about how much we're a team and how much we need to be able to be there for each other because each one of us could be going through something and is probably going through something at a different time and it's a way to pay it forward and, and add purpose to your life going, I, I you know, get to be there for someone, someone 